you know, of course the son must have been born, we think, in a, in a mm, stellar okay. nursery. Okay. So there would have been siblings born alongside with us mm -hmm. from that giant molecular cloud that collapsed and fragmented and formed all these small stars. We don't know exactly how many, but there's probably many such stars. And the question is, what happened to them? Over billions of years, this the stars will disperse. They'll move into slightly separate directions, and especially because of tidal forces from the from the galaxy, they'll get kind of pulled apart and could be essentially long lost siblings at this point. You know, spread across half the galaxy or more. And the sun, it, given its age and its speed, it's been around the center twenty times. And so, if it had a whole family twenty times around, given everything you just said yeah. that can happen en route, you, you know, your siblings are long gone. Mm. But yeah. they, they should be out there. And so an interesting Guys, question is... Guys, when are we getting together? <laughs> yeah, we want to have a Facebook reunion. <laughs> <laughs> you guys never stay in touch. <laughs> Can we Zoom? We'll do it next time. Okay. So a family reunion might be possible, at least in a, in a sense of discovering them, by actually looking at the chemistry of those stars. So oh, there is an active effort to... Well, there is. ...to measure the, the detailed chemistry, the abundances of every single element you can think of inside oh, these stars right, right, and right. compare them to that of our sun. And these sibling stars should have the not same. only the same age, of course, but also the same chemistry. So right? a, a gas cloud not that far away would still have all these elements, but not in the exact amounts relative to each other. Yes. So that's like a fingerprint. Yes, exactly. Right. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there should be a unique chemical fingerprint. We've got people looking star. to get the family back together. That's so yeah. Cool. Get the band back together. So, I, I don't know the latest on that, but I know that there are many astronomers who are hunting hard for those. And I think we'll probably hear big news when they're discovered.